Anthony, so nice to see you again. We're back here in the islands and you are the man around Heart of Beer Sport when it comes to all things exclusive, expensive very often and utterly amazing. You've got another house here to show us and for those who have watched the series before, you've seen us tour the islands and all of those homes have been sponsored by Anthony. So I need to ask you to please tell us what you've got in store for us today and also a little bit about the islands estate as a whole. Yeah, so the Islands Estate unique features is we've got six and a half kilometers worth of explorable canal. So basically we have water, we've got beautiful mountainous views. You can explore by boat with friends and family all the way down into our Beerspoor Dam. We've got a water lock port system that enables your boats to either rise or descend onto the dam. And we've got this beautiful nine hole golf mashie course we are standing now. I remember so much about the lock port. It was an incredible experience going around there and this home You've given me a couple of quick tips around it. 35 tons of steel, one of the biggest lots, just under 2,000 square meters. What's your favorite feature about the home? So this home has got brand new solar and it's got an underground music room, so no sound is getting out. Sounds incredible. So what's next is how are we going to get there? Golf carts this way. Let's go. So Chad, here we are. This beautiful home is right beside us. Welcome home. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see it. And here we are finally exploring this incredible home. So many unique features to take a look at and you're going to enjoy touring this home as much as I am. But now after coming through that front door, let's see what we've just passed. Immediately off to the left of the front door, you see two doors. One of them leads off to a four car garage that borders the front driveway of this home. As you saw when we came in with that golf cart, the driveway blends beautifully with nature, but it does have a stone understructure, keeping it solid and also keeping your feet away from too much dampness when it rains. Another thing that's quite close to nature is the front facade of that four car garage. All of that wood really does make this home not only stand out, but still blend in with the beautiful nature that is Hot Beer Sport. The other door that leads off to your guest toilet. So guests have easy access to the toilet as soon as they walk in. It's got a single vanity, single toilet, but a beautiful infinity mirror infused with LED lighting that I think is gonna be a talking point for a guest bathroom, which I think those small attention to details really does carry a home above ordinary into what this home is extraordinary. We're gonna start off in the first living area we come to, which is this kitchen. We've got a center island running almost the whole length of the house with storage both inside and on the outside of this massive center island. Beautiful for all of those home cooks or anybody who loves to collect trinkets. We've also got shelving hanging from the ceiling, bringing that extra bit of character to this room with some low energy LED light bulbs and stripping. Obviously, you have to have your chef sink and this one comes complete with all the bells and whistles you might need to make washing up a breeze. Behind me, we've got some built-in appliances, top of the line, both a microwave as well as an oven. And then, of course, a five-top gas burner right in front of me, complete with your Le Creuset pot that really does bring that touch of color. And this home has got those tiny touches all throughout it that's going to make you fall in love. Moving on, we come to this section of the home here. As you can see, there is a pocket door built into the wall that opens up onto a lounge area. 
But before we get to that, let me talk about this section. You've got two separate kitchenettes. This home is built to entertain and to host. So if you love great dinner parties, this home's gonna come in clutch for you. One of the kitchenettes that comes with a double sink space for another double door extra wide fridge. Now that adds onto the fridge you'll see in the main kitchen and that fridge is hidden in behind beautiful matching doors that matches the cupboards for the rest of the kitchen. Then on the second kitchenette, you've got another double sink there. This home also comes complete with solar, so all of your inverters are stored neatly away behind the one kitchenette. Also, down this hallway, that is where you'll find your helper's quarters. It comes with all the bells and whistles, shower, toilet, lounge area, as well as a bedroom area, so your helper at least will be living in the same type of luxury you will. And when we talk about luxury, there needs to be a level of comfort to it. Otherwise, the home very quickly starts, especially when they're this size, becoming just a display home. And this is where that comfort comes in, I think, the most within this home. You've got this area here that is built for you to sit down, relax, and enjoy movies. Massive TV screen space, as you can see, for an even bigger one if you want. Up on the ceiling, if you want to take it a step further, you can place a projector screen. The mounting points are there, as well as the mounting bracket and mounting point for a projector space for all different types of configurations of couches and then a sliding glass door that leads you out onto the decking now that decking is surrounded by beautiful pieces of nature as well as a natural pond now this room also comes with those homey touches and its very own display cabinet you can see behind this glass we've got a backlit display cabinet right now it's housing an assortment of alcohol a very tempting assortment of alcohol for those viewers who know how I love to start picking out a couple of wine glasses, but this one is locked. They knew I was coming, they came prepared. So we're gonna have to leave this behind and let's take a look at what the dining area on this incredible concrete and steel home looks like. Passing the kitchen, we come to your main dining room area of the home. And it's at this time that you can really see how that concrete and steel comes into play in the design of the home. 35 tons of steel was used when building this home. We've got these concrete pillars as well as a raw concrete ceiling that runs the length of the home. We've got a eight seater dining room table fitting comfortably in between your kitchen as well as your lounge suite. There's plenty more space here for those of you who wanna put in a 10, 12, maybe even 14 seater, you can run it lengthwise but one of my favorites always has to be this right here. The centerpiece in between your dining and your living room area is this beautiful double-sided fireplace with the flue that runs all the way up a double length ceiling. So we've got exposed concrete here and then exposed concrete right on the roof and the flue is bordered by two skylights letting in a lot of natural light. This whole home doesn't feel dark. However, there are basically a full wall of windows on in front of me as well as behind me as you can see so there's light coming in all the way around beautiful scenes of nature that you can look at you're running water you see the pool if you're living on hearties this is what you want to be surrounded by and then we come in a full 360 back to comfort a u-shaped couch dominates this area and we're flanked by three glass walls Two of them, the one in front of me and the one behind me, being pocket walls, they all open right up and out the way, fitting, or should I say, at least stacking next to each other and tucking neatly away into a wall. So when we talk about indoor, outdoor living, this home really does have it mastered. Coming out underneath the staircase, I can now show you the back end of the home. So that is the deck that we saw from the TV room a little bit earlier today. You've got that sliding door there, but also, as you can see, there's a bit of a structure there. It looks like there's a hole in the deck. Well, it's not a hole. You'll walk down a set of staircase into what used to be a water reservoir. It's been completely refurbished and turned into a music room. There's a bar, there's incredible club lighting, as well as a sound system, but it is all soundproofed. So if you enjoy throwing parties and those parties turn into other parties, this home has got you covered. We also have this fully filtered wetland right over here, you can hear the running water. It looks incredible. I think it matches so well with the other end of the home, which is manicured gardens and blue pools. We spoke about indoor outdoor living, so let's explore these outdoors a little bit more. First and foremost, I love the hanging gardens coming from the first floor. 
We've got a patio area over here that is absolutely massive with a built-in bar that you'll see just over the wall. That bar comes complete with everything you need. It's got a kitchenette, sinks, plug points, under counter storage and space for not one but two fridges. So again, if you're into entertainment, this home without a doubt is for you. You've got a built-in bra area and then a pool that runs along almost the full length of the house. If you're into laps, or if you've got kids that enjoy swimming again, this home ticks all those boxes. 1,950 square meters, that's the size of the plot that this home is built on, with just over 850, might be to around about 890 square meters under roof. Five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, there's so much to talk about in this home. But the pool terminates onto a sunken boma area, you can light up a fire, roast some marshmallows, sit, sing Kumbaya, but it's the perfect home for big families. And I must admit, I love what they've done with the concrete and the steel, and you can see this all frame behind me. But right now, we've completed the bottom area of this home, or the very bottom area, if I have to talk about this spot. Let's head up those stairs, and let's take a look at what the first floor in this home has in store for us. Come with me. And here we are, your upstairs section. Now this whole upper section is built as a study and it has got so many incredible features. One, I love the greenery. We've got these metal poles really bordering the section where you get to look down at your living areas. We've got bookcases on one end, we've got windows on the other end with some incredible artwork. And then obviously the chandelier front and center. Now let's talk about what's behind me because this is without a doubt one of the biggest billiards table I've ever seen. But it does give you a sense of scale of this upstairs area and how massive it really is. You can do whatever you want here. You can design it however your heart sees fit. We've got this cutout in the ceiling with two skylights letting in that natural light. But I cannot, with good conscience, see a table like this and not give it a shot and see what I can do. It's a, it's a bit of a feel there, but... Not a bad break. I'm gonna come back here and finish the game off. But right now, we've gotta head one place next. There are two separate balconies upstairs, one in front of me and another one that's kind of hidden, so we'll leave that for later. Let's explore the first one. So we've left a massive study area for a just as massive outdoor balcony. You get to take a peek at those hanging gardens, absolutely incredible, but the view is almost unobstructed. You see the mountains without anything taller than where you are right now. The Michalisburg Mountains all the way around. The beautiful view of this corner lot and the massive grounds is built on. So if you love nature, if you want to relax, this is without a doubt a place to slap a jacuzzi, sit back and live your best life. Now this side of the home also houses the first bedroom we're going to be taking a look at. And again, it's almost like a self-contained cottage. We've got a pocket door that hides nicely away. And then it comes into this sitting area. You could put a couch here, a TV. But around the corner is where the magic happens because it is a beautifully lit and really well-designed bedroom. Come with me. So this bedroom has all your cupboards as you walk in. Really nice raw wood and push to open. Very, very fancy. And on your right-hand side, this is your bathroom. We've got a skylight in the ceiling, a lot of those concrete accents, white subway towels with a walk-in shower, single toilet as well as single vanity with a mirror and storage just in front of it. And here is your main bedroom. You've got a massive window right in front of you that opens up onto those hanging gardens. You can open it all the way up and feel like you're sitting downstairs right in front of your yard. Plenty of space, king bed fits easily with two separate side tables. Again, I love the exposed concrete and this concrete wall that matches mounted the TV, light on here, and it is an amazing room, either for guests, teenagers, your children that wanna stay a little bit further away from family. So I really like it and we will also show you in cutaway because we have to 
the beautiful Michalisburg mountains that you see through these windows. But that wraps up the first bedroom. We have a couple of others to attend to. So come with me as I show you our secret balcony and then we're gonna go to the other section of the house. Now, in addition to the big balcony, we also have this secret one. Let's take a look at it. So through that door, you find a back balcony. I love the fact that they've utilized the space. So often we see big houses, they throw them nice white stones here and you're not allowed to walk here. So I think it's an incredible spot for you to relax in the shade or even in the sun, depending on the type of day. It's perfect for activities and you've got some really nice tree coverage and the privacy that it comes from looking onto the backside of your plot. You've got a stunning stream running through it. It is very tranquil and a really, really cool feature. You also have a staircase, or shall I rather say a ladder leading up onto the main roof of the house, which can be walked on, but it's covered by solar panels. So if any maintenance is due, you know you've got easy access for that. Now it's time to take a look at the rest of the bedrooms. So let's go do that. An absolutely beautiful home to walk around in but on this side of the home we come to the second bedroom let's take a look at that we're going to talk about this office space and then the third and master suite the three bedrooms in this home bar the master suite all have a striking resemblance to one another you've got beautiful cupboards inlaid on the left hand side with the bathroom on the right walk-in shower single vanity with mirror as well as your floating toilet. The rooms are large, spacious, and really do concentrate on what makes this home so unique, that relationship between steel and concrete. Now, between the three bedrooms on this side of the home is a large and very well catered for office area. You've got a desk spanning the length of this area. And because of where we are, in the middle of Harder Beersport and one of the most sought after estates, the islands, the views through these windows are really quite catching. You can see the wetland as well as your pond and that stream that I spoke about when we were on the deck. So I can only imagine this work area, unlike many, is probably a place you do want to sit down and get tons and tons of work done. I love that it's been included and I think how they've utilized the space is very nice. Just here is the third bedroom that we've come to. The next one's the master suite and you definitely want to take a look at that. Come with me. Walking into the third room of this house, you once again get to enjoy the incredible views through those sliding glass doors. You've got beautiful open spaces, a walk-in bathroom with the shower, single vanity as well as toilet. I love the use of down lighting and those white subway tiles. And then again, those hanging gardens, this time looking straight down onto your massive blue pool. And here we are, finally the master suite. We're gonna start with the bathroom since this is the first place you see as you open that door. You've got cupboard space running the length of the bathroom as well as almost the length of the bedroom a very, very large amount of cupboards. So if you've got an assortment of really cool handbags, shoes, or clothing, this home, again, ticks that box. But I love what they've done with the bathroom. We've got this freestanding bathtub here, and then a massive window in front of you that opens up, letting in a breeze. But because it's at the back of the plot, again, privacy is not a concern. We've got the down lighting here that really does add such a cool touch when it comes to these subway tiles. But if we scoot across, Take a look at that. This is your walk-in shower area. So it's a wet bath almost. This whole section here being your shower with the exposed concrete towel racks, both top and bottom. And then behind me, double vanity, bidet, toilet, storage galore. But also because of that window, you hear the trickle of the pond downstairs. It is such a cool bathroom. And I think it's one that you need to experience to really believe. But now, heading back, let's go take a look at what the main section of this bedroom looks like. And here you are within the meat and potatoes of this master suite. You can see again the cupboards that I spoke about. And then right over here is not one, but 
two separate sets of windows that open all the way outwards, letting you experience that hanging garden and also just take in the incredible breathtaking beauty that is the grounds around this home. So this master suite, very, very large. You've got space for a king bed with both of your side tables and then also this section over here. You can have a nice sitting room with almost a larger section of furniture to be honest there's still quite an open section over there we've got a massive tv mounted against the concrete and then a pillar that makes this home just feel so much more unique specifically this master suite i love the views i love the spaces and i have to admit i think downstairs is without a doubt one of the coolest we've seen so far and definitely the coolest we've seen in the islands so come with me and let's take a look at how you can become the next owner of this incredible home And now, unfortunately, we've come to an end of this incredible home tour. So let's recap what we've seen so far. This home boasts five bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, incredible entertainment spaces and architecture done by some of the most sought after architects in South Africa. If you're looking for a home that not only is unique, captures your imagination, but also has amazing indoor and outdoor spaces, this home is for you. All on the market for 20 million rand. If you'd like to purchase this home, please contact Anthony, the new franchise owner for Rawson Harder Beer Sport. And if you're looking for anything luxury around this incredible dam, that is the man to speak to. All of his details are in the description below. Now, if you're looking for a home, whether it be one of this size or anything in between, go to privateproperty.co.za and find your new home. And from myself, Chad Riveros, we will see you every single Friday as we tour some of the most exclusive, sought after or unique homes around South Africa. Thank you and goodbye.